Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another CSGO News episode. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's stories. The first of which I want to talk about a response to Trilux's video. If you guys have not heard about this, it made the top Reddit post a couple days ago. And I'll also link the video down below as well as his response video to the situation. And kind of give you guys a background of this and what I'm agreeing with as of right now. I'm kind of trying to be on the fence and not agreeing with either side here. This video received a lot of backlash. As you guys can see, it was called Why We Hate or Why I Hate CSGO. There's a lot of reasons out there to hate CSGO. And I think this video is probably a misleading actual misinterpretation of why you guys should. Um, a lot of the backlash as of right now in the video itself was because a lot of the shots he missed in CSGO The main premise of the video was to show a lot of the shots he took and why they missed So he would he would take a shot and he said it should have landed there Although it of course it missed and it landed somewhere else a lot of the shots in that video though Like the clip I'm about to show you guys were while he was moving as many of you guys know Kind of an inaccurate representation there because a lot of the weapons in the game Especially the op when you're moving the accuracy goes all over the place. There is no accuracy there So I'll show you guys the first clip uh, that many people freaked out about in this video and here's that clip right now. Me! And also alongside that, we had another person out there actually point out that whenever he zoomed in to prove to you guys that the shot should have been there and they and they hit somewhere else, he actually used a fake crosshair. Now he again he actually denied these allegations. If you guys go back and watch the video, it's pretty obvious. Uh, the the actual CS:GO crosshair would be very very blurry if he zoomed in on it. He made his own crosshair to show you guys where it should be hitting. So I wouldn't call it a fake video, but it's definitely misleading. And again, I, I do agree with him partially. There's there's obviously a lot of bugs out there, a lot of problems with CS:GO. So I see where if this video was a joke, which he does say it was a joke. I don't necessarily believe that, but if it was a joke, I do agree. There's there's many things wrong with CSGO, but if you're going to show things that are wrong with CSGO, you cannot be misleading and you cannot really lie about it. So I'll show you guys those crosshairs on screen that were kind of allegedly faked or misleading. And on top of that, he also did re actually respond with his own response video. I'll link that down below for with all of you. In that response video, he kind of took it the wrong way. He could he could have just said, you know what guys, I faked a few of the crosshairs or I guess I misled you guys with some of the crosshairs, but instead he targeted all the haters and he said, kind of made a joke about the whole thing. He said also on top of that though he did not fake anything he didn't lie and on top of that he also said the video was a joke but if you guys go back and watch the original video it doesn't seem very joke worthy now again I could be wrong about that in my own opinion it's not that big of a deal many of you guys out there watching this right now we know there are so many problems with CSGO another great content creator out there is Trillix so if you guys enjoy his content feel free to subscribe to him if you guys don't and this actually deterred you from his content then so be it so that was in the first news today also though in much bigger news we had Simple and Navi in several instances we had Navi Zeus and Simple in interviews on their actual channel. I'll play you guys these clips very shortly. They actually went ahead and said that Valve had given them and other teams out there a pre-beta version of the new Dust 2 remake. And first off, my first thoughts on this was this is cool. This is amazing. I think it's almost better to give these maps to the pro players to test out and to actually see what's wrong with the maps before they give it to us because pro players know best and they're going to be playing the maps competitively for money and that's what grows the scene. I thought that was a great idea and all of a sudden after this though we had Simple tweet out this and apparently it was all a joke. So I'm going to play you guys the clips and I'll give you guys my opinion about this. Here is Simple and Zeus both confirming that Navi was playing the Dust 2 remake before it actually has come out. What are you ready to get to? We are ready to get all the cards. And Valve gave us the beta version of Dust 2. We will be surprised at the players. Now we will get to it and go to it. Are you ready to get all the cards or not? Yes, all the cards. We are even training on other cards, which are not in CSGO, but they are going to come out. <laughs> and we've seen this time and time again in the past, not only with companies out there, but other organizations. We had Cloud9 Shroud a while ago come out and stream and say, by the way, I might be retiring sometime soon. And then shortly afterwards, he came out and said, oh, I was just joking, guys. Of course, an organization like Cloud9 does not want the information out there. Just like Valve probably doesn't want people knowing that we're giving you the map ahead of time. Although Valve, just saying, if you're watching this, I think it's a great idea to have pro players test out the maps. Of course, they might have told Symbol to, you know, hey, let's let's not, not tell the people this. Then Symbol did make that tweet, of course. So I do not think it was a lie guys I really do think that Navi was playing the map and other teams out there are probably practicing the map as we speak and I think it's a great update so whatever you guys thought about that the dust 2 remake should be returning sometime soon and the pro players might already know about it and also kind of a rare story on this channel uh, for sure I'm actually gonna compliment Mo TV if you guys have not seen his tweets I'm blocked on his Twitter but thank you to dab Daniel who actually sent me this tweet as well Mo TV is actually funding the Arabic CSGO scene AGC if you guys do not know about them I'll link their Twitter down below they run a lot of Arabic tournaments actually almost weekly they run tournaments 
If you guys go to their Twitter, they are very, very active. And Mo gave them several, several thousands of dollars worth of knives to do up for giveaways for the tournament. So congrats to Mo. I really like to see people out there supporting their own country, where, they're, where they come from, and especially this kind of thing, supporting the CSGO scene. And so that was a really good news there. Kind of cool to see that someone can afford to give several thousand dollars to tournament uh, organizers out there. I wish I could do that, but uh, at least Mo is doing that. And also another big news, or I guess semi-big news, not too big of updates for DreamHack, but for all of their tournaments going forward, for coaching changes, as of right now, coaches can now talk during freeze time. That's the only changes. They're actually still muted throughout technical pauses and throughout the entire match, unless it's timeouts or halftime. And now also on top of that, freeze time are the only times that coaches can actually talk. On top of that, all you Envious Loop fans out there, it does seem as of right now, his Twitter is back under control. He tweeted out this this morning, we're back boys. So apparently he regained his Twitter from the hacker and hopefully that will never happen again. And hopefully his new password is not Club Penguin. And that's going to do it for today's episode of CSK News. If you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like down below. More importantly, leave a comment as well. I have all day today to actually reply to comments, so please leave me a nasty comment, you know, dissing my hair or my ugly looks down below. As always, hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you on a couple days as well as tomorrow with a drinking stream. It's going to be a nice long stream tomorrow. We'll do some giveaways on top of that. So thank you all for watching. I will see you all then and uh, goodbye. That was my outro.